Hello and welcome to another The Church Artie Wright and here he comes Dillwyn, come on, come on. Is he going to come, yes or no? I think he will because he's wagging his tail, we'll leave it up to him. Welcome to another The Church at Erith. A few verses from scripture from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 as Dillwyn makes his way back to Debbie who's behind the camera at this moment in time. There is a time, talking of times, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build. And that passage goes on. In fact, it's a well-known song if you like your 60s music. But it's that opening, really, that I'm thinking about now. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. Life has seasons, doesn't it? Just this week, we've gone past the longest day of the year. So it is quite literally all downhill from there onwards. You don't necessarily feel the effects of that immediately, but as the weeks and the months pass by, then you do notice a big change. There's a season that comes to an end and there's a new one that's on its way. And I think when we talk about good times, we often say afterwards how quickly the time went. You think about going on holiday. We normally go for a week, but even then you arrive you go into your new place, it's all exciting, you've got all these things that you're going to do, you're looking forward to it, it seems such a long time till next week. Never mind if you're going for a fortnight, that seems even longer. But before you realise it, you're packing the car again, you're on your way home, or you're off to the airport, or whatever it is, and you look back and say, that went so quickly. But also, when we're going through bad times, you think that you won't come to an end. They won't come to an end. You won't come through it, but you will. That's the message that I want to communicate at the start of this week's online service, that no matter how difficult the times are, you still come through them. Hindsight is a wonderful thing in life, isn't it? As you get older, you look back and you look at those times where you thought you would never get through. This will be the one that breaks me. I'll never be the same again. But it didn't. And you have come through. You managed to get through that situation unscathed in the end. Whatever we're going through, especially if it's a, a bad season, always see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Even the Bible talks about a time for this, but also a time for that. There is a season the scripture tells us for every activity under heaven, a time for everything and a season for every activity. If you're going through a difficult time, I pray that you would hang on in there because just as the good seasons do pass by very quickly, also the bad ones likewise. Maybe not so quickly though, but they will still pass got my little helper with me. I'm not sure what he's going to do exactly, but I think he wants to help me anyway. So we'll sing a song. It's called I'll Worship the King, All Glorious Above.
1 Peter 3 15 but in your heart set apart Christ as Lord always this is the important bit as far as the message is concerned always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you do but do this with gentleness and respect this week my wife and I and Dilwyn we were taking a walk where we live and just as we were getting back to the drive there were a couple of ladies there and one of them asked me a perhaps an unusual question just to a random stranger in the street well we said hello first of all so we'd established friendly contact she said are you voting in reference to the upcoming general election I said yes I am and we well she gave me a leaflet she got a leaflet there and asked me if I'd be voting Labour because she was the prospective parliamentary candidate for that particular party and I said to her I said I, I'm not voting Labour I said I've never voted Labour in my life and she asked me why and I said immediately because I'm not a socialist I don't believe in socialism and she asked me again why so I told her why I believe in small government freedom of speech and and all the other stuff that goes with it and we had a, a very good chat I said to her in fact that really from my background very working-class background I, I should be a, a, a traditional Labour supporter in fact my dad wasn't even a tool maker and we didn't even have television never mind sky television if you follow politics you'll understand those there but back to being serious she asked me the two questions I told her who I wasn't voting for she asked me why and then she asked me why again and I thought of this first funnily enough we had a very pleasant conversation by the way said well just in case I can't change your mind don't forget to to vote for me but we had a very pleasant conversation it was all good it says there doesn't it always be ready to give an answer to everyone who asks what is the hope that lies within you but do it with gentleness and respect I think in this day and age this society in which we live there are too many people who are aggressive and angry when someone else has a, a different viewpoint politics for example but as far as I'm concerned I have no issues whatsoever with the way that people vote but we have to know why we voted don't we so just imagine a, another political scenario whereas the person could have asked me or put you or anyone else in that position for that matter who are you voting for oh I'm voting Lib Dems why oh we've we've always voted Lib Dems my mum and dad voted Lib Dems and my grandparents and we've go back as far as you can we've always voted Lib Dems but why are you voting Lib Dems because they've always voted Lib Dem who are you voting for I'm voting for Green the Green Party why oh I don't know really I just thought I'd give someone else a chance you could go on couldn't you you see where I'm coming from always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks what's the hope that lies within you and when it comes to faith if anyone would say to me you're a Christian I say yes I say why I could tell them I could tell them exactly why I believe in God why I know not just believe or hope in some way that God is out there I could tell my, my answer would be how much time have you got because my conviction is very very strong I've been a Christian for many many years now for decades in fact I could tell people why I believe in God it's not just some figment of my imagination that there is maybe possibly hopefully someone out there I could say with all certainty and surety because of all those things that have happened in my life when you look back a lot of people would call them coincidences but I actually see so many God incidences in my life and I could I could talk with someone 
maybe they might not accept it. Maybe they don't want to accept it. <laughs> they don't want to hear. But the point is, I know why I believe. I know what I believe in. And I have that absolute confidence to express that. So whether it's your political views or whatever it might be, I've used that really as an example. It's not meant to be a political message at all. But when it comes to faith, that's what the church at Erith is all about. When it comes to faith, always, let's read that verse again. And, and in particular, the, the, the portion that deals with what I've been talking about. It says, but in your hearts, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Why are you a Christian? Well, I don't know really, because my mum and dad went to church, so I went to church, or I went with my nan when I was younger and I've always gone. Why are you a Christian? I'm not really sure. It's just something that we always do. Always be ready, the scripture tells us. Be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. Bill Wins determined to stay for the whole video. I think I've sung him to sleep now. He's quite contented down there. Let's finish off the hymn. hope that you've enjoyed our online service this week. I think Dilwyn is just hot because seasons, we're going through a very warm one at this moment in time. But like I said, the longest day of the year has just passed. It won't be that far away until it's the shortest day of the year. And then it's all up, uphill again, isn't it? Whatever struggle, whatever difficulty, whatever issue or problem that we're going through in life, I pray that you will come through that, that you will see light at the end of the tunnel. Hope is a wonderful thing, isn't it? When we go through the difficult times in life, because we all do, we can't get away from that. It doesn't matter how much money you've got, it doesn't matter where you live, how nice your home is, what kind of car you drive. It doesn't matter how much you've got in terms of this world's possessions. We all go through difficult times during the course of our life. But hope is a wonderful thing. Hope tells us that we will come through at the end. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And for me, as a Christian, my hope my light is in Jesus Christ. My hope is in God. 